you're getting on with your day. So what I'd like to talk about today is the um, energy field around our body that we all have and that every living thing um, and possibly every inanimate thing has around it. And um, science call it the bio field um, and science has acknowledged it now, so it must be real. Um, but we we call it in the sort of spiritual alternative therapies, holistic um, therapies um, community, the aura. And, and you've probably heard that word before. And it's basically the shape of almost like a, an egg that goes around you and it can expand and it can contract depending on how you're feeling, etc. And this this field, it's it's believed to be an electromagnetic field. And it interacts and is part of um, your physical, emotional, mental and spiritual body. So we have this aura around us. My apologies for all the hand gestures. I do use my hands a lot when I'm speaking and I've tried not to do it, but I just can't stop. Um, but so we have this electromagnetic field and we call it the aura. And it can change colour, it can change um, density, and it can expand and contract, like I, I've just um, mentioned. Um, and you can see the aura actually with things like um, the Curlian photography. And um, this started by um, taking still images of your body, um, and it would display the colours that are in the energy field, and each colour. Uh, is associated with um, health, with your emotions. And um, so then later on, they developed a video version of this. So we could actually see the aura changing and responding to how we were feeling and to how we, we were interacting with our environment. So the colours and the aura is constantly moving, constantly changing, just as we are physically. So we have the aura around us and then what we have what are known as chakras which are big spinning di discs or some refer to them as wheels of energy or vortexes and these chakras actually um, bring in and send out energy from us to the universe, to the, um, the realms and energies around us and the space around us. And we have seven chakras, main chakras, that are commonly referred to. These extend up to 12 chakras, but we'll keep it to seven um, to begin with because these are the most well-known and the most important when you're starting on this journey. So we start with the chakras which run up the centre of your body. Um, it's also probably worth mentioning that we have lots of tiny little chakras running um, all around us, exchanging energy all the time. We have um, chakras in our palms, which energy healers use for healing. Um, but we are going to concentrate on the main seven chakras, which run up the spine of the body. And we start at the bottom, which is the, um, the root chakra, and that is at the base of the spine. And that is um, seen as a red energy um, and that is our foundation. So it's our foundation in all aspects, in all meanings of the word. It's our foundation spiritually, mentally and emotionally. So having that root um, working well and spinning um, and being clear um, of blockages is um, the foundation to our health in all aspects. Um, and then we move on to the next chakra, which is the sacral, and that is an orange um, energy colour. And that is positioned just below the navel. Then uh, we move on up to the solar plexus, which is just under the rib cage. So it's where we feel tension and nerves and anxiety. Um, and it's where our stomach is. And that's a yellow energy. Then um, the heart chakra, which is represented as green um, and sometimes pink. We get pink in there as well. One is love, one is, one is love for others, the other is self-love. And then we go to the throat chakra, which is blue. 
and the third eye which is purple or indigo sort of a purpley blue and then we have the crown chakra at the top so the root is our foundation the sacral is about expression creativity relationships the solar power uh, solar power the solar plexus is about um self-control about self-empowerment um and how we how we see ourselves the heart chakra is love self-love and love for others the throat chakra is about communication um and communication with ourselves with um the people around us the third eye is um seeing into other realms um it's our intuition and the um the crown chakra is our connection to source it's where we get our inspiration um, and having that connection to source is as important as having our connection to the earth, our root chakra. So they're the seven main chakras. And just before I finish, because I've, I think uh, I'm at about eight minutes now, um, when I was thinking about um, doing the first uh, video, I got my reiki cards they're called living reiki sorry if that that's back to front um and i pulled a card out and it was just so so relevant to what i was going to be doing today i wanted to read it to you so it's the energies within you and um it's really another um explanation or probably says it in a in a more succinct way um, it's talking about our life force, our chi energy, which is what we're um, operating in, our aura and the energy that's flowing through us. So I'll just read it out to you quickly. Life force energy, chi or chi, flows within the physical body through energy centres called chakras and pathways called meridians. Now, meridians are, um, they're what we use for um they're what acupuncturists use when they're um performing acupuncture so they'll put the needles into different channels um that run through the body and they'll be very specific points but they will always be on a meridian um channel and the the these meridians these energy pathways they they work and they flow through the body and um they allow the energy to flow through the body, just like our veins and our arteries um, transport our blood, the meridian lines, um, they transport our energy to keep our vital force, our life force running through our body and keeping us animated and um, healthy. So that's meridians. So um, we have the chakras and pathways called meridians, as well as flowing around the body in an energy field called the aura. This energy field responds to everything we think, say, feel and experience and it becomes disrupted or blocked whenever we consciously or unconsciously accept and absorb negative words, thoughts, feelings or experiences. So this, um, this kind of encapsulates how our um, energy field actually can get um, blocked and can become out of balance um, by what we do, by what we think, by what we um, say, but also by our environment, by um, our connection with other people, our communications with other people. So, um, <clears throat> so what happens when we start to uh, get blocked chakras, um, that can start to penetrate how we feel, how we think, um, and it can it can affect us in um, a physical way as well. So what I want to do next time is start with uh, the root chakra, talking about that, talking about what it represents in more detail, talking about how it can get blocked, the specific causes, and then talking about ways that you can actually keep that chakra healthy, about how you can work on clearing those blockages. So that's what I'm going to do next time. And um, that'll probably be 
I'd like to say a couple of days, but it might be a week before I can um, post that. So, and if you have any questions about what I've um, talked about today, then please message me or um, connect with me on Facebook um, or leave a comment below and I will um, answer your question or help you however I can. Okay, thank you very much for taking the time to listen to this and um, have an amazing day.